Good morning. If you're doing a cable self-install, you might wonder, how do I know if my cable's connected in my house and which cable is it? Well, this is a condo situation I'm in. And sometimes there's a number of rooms here on one part of the condo. These rooms are usually locked. And these are for, for the utility people. In my situation, this room is not locked. It's called electrical room, telephone room. Telephone probably means cable. So take a look in here. We see lots of stuff. There's some stuff that they're not even using here. And if you take a look, you see a lot of cables coming in from all the condos here. Those are cable TV cables. And uh, lots of them are not connected, so... That's pretty interesting, and lots of them are. So what you want to do is find the cable box. And here we see... This is actually a cable outlet, and it looks like out of eight outlets, they're all connected. And as you can see, the cable company, in this case Comcast, has put the address onto the cable here. And the address is also written onto the cables. So if you're not receiving cable TV in your house, you may or may not be connected up to this box outside. And to identify your cable, <coughs> you might want to find, first of all, if your cable number is on this cable, is the cable connected up to this box? It should be if Comcast came along. Sometimes Comcast doesn't even know what this box is. So you gotta tell them. And then if you find your cables connected, like for instance, let's look at this number 99. Say my house number was, was, uh, was 99. So you can see the 99 in there. You can take a look at this cable and say, oh, look at that, there's, there's writing on here, okay? So what you wanna do is take a picture of this cable out here with that writing, and you wanna feel with your hands the stiffness of the cable, and that gives you a clue. So, looks like this means high speed or something, I don't know. So anyway, you wanna come down here and find this little number here, and you can see clearly all those numbers. And you wanna match this up with the cables up in your house, up in your utility room in your house, in your bedroom, in the little AV compartment in your house, this cable will be the one that's coming in from the street, from the cable junction, and this is the one that should have signal, and that's the one you'll put in your splitter. So that's how to do it. And this pipe here from the ground is coming from Comcast cable. This is actually called hardline cable, and this is where all the signals come in in full strength and enter this box, which this box is actually a splitter also, an outdoor splitter. It'll split these all down for your house. So this is how Comcast gets cable into your house or condo. And you'll see this could be on a telephone pole, this could be in a utility room, this could be underground in a box on your street. Depends on your situation. Usually in cul-de-sacs and stuff, this will be on a, in a box. In the condo here, it's all sitting around this looks like an amplifier here that uh, the builder put in and nobody used. That's interesting. Uh, what's this? Okay, look at that. So it looks like Dish was in here for some reason. With an amplifier or a splitter or something. Anyway, thanks for watching. You can see there's, there's phone lines in here. There's uh, power meters from PG&E. A couple of fuses, probably for the community. And most importantly for you folks with cable, cable coming up out of the ground and distributing with maybe your address on the uh, wire here, or maybe your cable's just hanging here, like here's 45, here's 481. These guys don't have cable, and there's not even an end on this thing. So these guys never had cable. It's just hanging around. All right. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this educates you. When you're done, close the door. And have a great day.